my New Year's resolution for 2017. My New Year's resolution for 2017. is a statement. It's resolve. My New Year's resolution for 2017 is a resolution, as a statement, as an assertion. It's not a wish. It's not a yearning. It's a statement. Resolution for 2017 is a statement. I am not a white cisgendered male. Oh, what a liberating resolution. What a soul clarifying affirmation. I am not a white cisgendered male. I refuse to be racist against myself and sexist against myself and genderist against myself. That's my resolution for 2017. I'm going to be a free human being. It's so empowering this new year so far. I love 2017, baby. Wow. Now I know I'm going to lose a lot of Facebook friends over this video. I know that people are going to yell at me. I call them liberal fundamentalists, but we'll get back to that later. I'm going to blow your mind today, so you need to get ready to get your mind blown. Because I've had my mind blown when I realized what my 2017 New Year's resolution is going to be. It is! I am free! I am going to be a free human being! I am not a white, cisgendered male. I refuse to be racist, sexist, and genderist against myself. You want your mind blown, remember? When you went to the circus as a kid, maybe it was Cirque du Soleil, and there was a tightrope, and there was this person. We won't identify their race, or their gender, or the sex. We just won't do that. But they were up there on the tightrope, and they were doing some crazy shit. They had their pinky here, and their pinky here, and on this pinky, at Cirque du Soleil, there was a fucking elephant. And I'm not talking about a little elephant. I'm talking about a fucking 4,000 pound elephant from Africa. And on this hand, there's a Mercedes Benz driving around in circles. Not a little toy, tiny nano Mercedes Benz, but a real ass fucking Mercedes Benz. Huge. I don't know how long those things are. 12 feet long, 10 feet long, 15 feet long, like a great white shark going round and round on the pinky. You figure that shit out. That's the astrophysics. Boom, boom, elephant, Mercedes Benz, on the tightrope, your mind was blown, you were at Cirque du Soleil, you were a kid, and now we're going to talk about why I am not a white cisgendered male. Cirque du Soleil, right there on the tightrope, it's going to be a tightrope of a conversation. Very, very, very fucking difficult to walk this tightrope, because you know, you and I know exactly what it means when I say, 
that I don't want to be racist and sexist and genderist against myself by agreeing that I'm a white cisgendered male. I refuse those fucking categories. Now, my New Year's resolution is to be a free human being. To not have my freedom and my soul destroyed by identity politics so that people feel entitled to discriminate against me for something I had no choice in. My skin color, my fucking sex, my gender. I was just fucking born this way, but now you have license to discriminate against me? Whew, that's a tough deal. Now, being a free human being, I was like, okay, how am I gonna be free in 2017? We put the, I'm not gonna do the identity politics, fuck that. I was like, oh, first thing that came to me is I'm gonna get really pumped. I'm gonna feel physically alive by getting in shape. And so I was fucking, I'm doing my push-ups. I'm at 35 push-ups, they're not real push-ups. I mean, I'm going down and I'm keeping myself in a plank, but I can't really go down to the ground yet. That's a little bit above my pay grade at the moment. And I'm doing an exercise bike. And so when I get done, I take my shirt off and I go around the house and I just flex. And I can feel that I'm a calorie burning machine. Like, and I don't eat for two hours after I work out and I don't eat for two hours before I work out because I force my body to burn the calories in my fat, which is right here around my waist. Uh, so I went to the mirror and I flexed like this in front of the mirror and I was killing it with the biceps and the pectorals, and guess what I saw? I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek on what I saw. You see that right there? No, for once I'm not pointing out my muscles. What I'm pointing to you is my pasty skin. Oh, did you hear that word, pasty? Do you know what pasty actually means? Pasty is the adjective that white people use to discriminate against themselves. And it's really funny. It's comedic. And black people can use that. Hispanics can use that. Anybody can use that. Oh, he's so pasty. <laughs> but what that's really saying is, uh, he's white. Huh, he's pasty. So while I'm having my moment of triumph in the fucking mirror, because I'm looking at the guns, I'm pumping out the pythons, I'm like, oh shit, I'm pasty. And I started to hate myself. I started to feel this moment of self-hatred for being pasty, right? I'm fucking pasty. And I'm like, wait a minute, huh? I'm starting to feel racist against myself for my skin color. I'm pasty. I started to feel hate against myself for being pasty. And I was like, that is fucked up because I fucking refuse. I refuse to be indoctrinated to hate myself, right? I'm fucking, I'm, fu I'm fucking allergic to self-hatred. I fucking love myself, bitch. Can you say that about yourself? No matter what your color is, can you say that you love yourself? Oh, that's something so much deeper. What does it mean to love oneself? when you're not even identifying with your sex, when you're not identifying with your gender, when you're not identifying with your race, when you're not even identifying with being human, what does it mean? It means that you are love. And now we're back on the tightrope. We are walking the tightrope, why? Oh, there it is. I got one foot in front of the other. I got a fucking elephant over here. I got a Mercedes over here. The elephant's going crazy with its tusks, its tusks because it's being poached, right? It's being poached, and the fucking Mercedes Benz is just being ridiculous. It's just circling and circling. It's really heavy to walk this tightrope of saying that I love myself, that I refuse to succumb to self-hatred because of my skin color. Ooh. Now why is that tightrope? Because immediately when you hear a white cisgendered male, I'm not a white cisgendered male, I refuse to be a white cisgendered male, Immediately when you hear me say that I'm not a white cisgendered male, where do you go? Well, you just go right for the fucking buffet table, don't you? You cannot help yourself. You see a fucking plate of bacon at the end of the buffet table, you don't even see all the other nutritious shit. 
all for 20 feet of the buffet table. All you see is the fucking bacon at the end of the fucking buffet table. And you go, wham! And you get yourself a whole handful of bacon and you stuff it down your throat. And you get yourself another hand of bacon and you stuff it down your throat. You don't even realize that's going to compromise your integrity as a tightrope walker. But you don't care. You want bacon. You want bacon on top of your bacon on top of your bacon. You're going to put the bacon right here on your waist. Because a moment on the lips is a lifetime on the hips. Now, what is the fucking bacon that you can't resist? I'll tell you what the bacon is that you can't resist. Right when you s hear me say that I fucking resist, I resist being a white cisgendered male because I don't want to be discriminated against because I don't believe that you were entitled due to cultural Marxism and identity politics to discriminate against me for something I had no choice in. You're going to say that I'm a neo-Nazi. Oh, you're going to say that I'm a skinhead. Oh, you're going to say that I'm fucking from Stormfront or white nationalism. Oh, yeah. What else are you going to say? You're going to say I'm KKK. You're going to say that I'm alt-right. Bitch, I'm none of that. What I'm saying is you shouldn't be ashamed of yourself for being any color. You shouldn't hate yourself. Right? Fuck, I'm an anarchist, dude. <laughs> right? All this... Fundamentalism on the right and fundamentalism on the left is fucking silly. I don't play into that false dialectic of liberal and conservative, left and right, Democrat and Republican, because you know what that is. It's a false dialectic. It means these people are fighting each other when they don't see the people above them that are benefiting from the internecine strife. That's a great word. Look it up. Internecine. Boom. Drop my vocab word for the day. Anyways. I am a free human being. That's my resolution for 2017. Fuck identity politics. Fuck identity politics. I am a free human being. Why? Why are black people, why are white people indoctrinated to hate themselves? I was talking to a really great guy in the airport during the holidays, this 70 year old black guy. Super nice. One of these people who just knows how to listen and very articulate and very loving. And he asked if he could sit down next to me because he wanted to watch the TV. And we started talking and I was telling him, you know, everything you're seeing on that TV is pure propaganda. And we just started talking. And he was telling me how he grew up on a farm. Now he's 70. He was telling me how his grandma, okay, was a slave. And his grandma would tell him stories of being a slave. And he, this man was also telling, I won't tell you his name, wonderful man, uh, he was telling me about how when he was a, a boy, and he'd ever, whenever he encountered white cops, he'd have to do all this kind of jiving and dancing and acting, and, and, and he'd have to entertain the, the cops so that they wouldn't brutalize him, throw him in jail or whatever. And he was talking about how, you know, he's trying to tell his black friends and black families to stop whining. I was like, whoa, whining? Yeah, he's like, you know, uh, and we started talking about self-hatred. And then I said to him, you're not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this. But white people are taught to hate themselves too. Seriously. Liberals especially. White liberals are taught to hate themselves. And as myself, I, I told him I'm, that I was a former social justice warrior. I'm a former SJW. I took the 12 steps of SJW Anonymous, and I'm free. I'm cleared of being a social justice warrior, thank God. But when I was a social justice warrior, I felt a lot of stigma for being white. A lot of self-hatred for being white. It's because I was indoctrinated to hate myself for what white people have done, to black people especially, for slavery, for Jim Crow, the new Jim Crow, for current police brutality, uh, and which are probably mostly, if not all, false flags in some way. They're, these events are actually concocted so that the races fight each other perpetually because that's how the state... You want to get rid of racism in the United States? Dissolve the United States. Because the United States actually depends upon a racial caste system, a soft apartheid, which ain't so soft when you look into New Jim Crow. It depends upon racial antagonism, all right, to continue through time. Because the state is a pyramid-like structure where the elites dominate the many. And in order for the many to be dominated, they have to fight each other. 
along the lines of identity politics. Hence my New Year's resolution. I am not a white cisgendered male. Why? Because I'm a free human being and I don't want to be controlled by an oligarchy above me that benefits from when I fight other people based on their sex, based on their color, based on their gender. <laughs> now you see what I'm really getting at, right? Who benefits? Qui bono? Who wins when I hate myself and when someone else hates themselves because of factors we can't control, such as race, such as sex, such as gender? Shit that we were born into. Who benefits? Because you know what self-hatred is? Whether it's black self-hatred or white self-hatred? Who benefits? Do you know what it is? When I hate myself, I suppress myself. I keep myself down. So other people don't even have to keep me down. All they have to do is educate me and indoctrinate me to hate myself, and then I'll do the work for them. I'll hate myself for them. All right, so that they don't even have to control me. I'll control myself. And now you see where I'm going. Now you see why this is a tightrope. Ah, and I just fucking put that bacon right back, didn't I? I put the bacon back. I put the bacon back because that's some seriously seductive bacon, right? Because when you, when you prejudice against somebody for their politics, their identity, excuse me, oh, that's some seductive bacon. You can't put that bacon down because you feel so empowered when you start hating on somebody. And here's a little secret. And this is going to fuck with your mind. Another mind bomb. Every time you're racist, you're wrong. To be prejudiced against an individual because of some concept of a race, it's fucked. Now why is that? Now just think about it this way. Every racist feels 100% conviction in their racist perspectives. Right? So when whites are doing against blacks or blacks are doing against whites, each racist believes 100% in their racism. But if it's 100% wrong for a white racist to be racist, it's also 100% wrong for a black racist to be black uh, to be racist. Isn't it? It's 100% wrong all the time. All the time. Now, also think about why, on the converse of that, why would somebody be uh, proud to be a certain race? That's very interesting. So I'm white. I'm going to take pride in Beethoven, in Homer, in Van Gogh. <laughs> I had nothing to do with those motherfuckers. Why am I taking pride? Okay? And also, if I don't take pride in, other, in, in being part of a race, why would I feel shame in being part of a race, right? Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, George Bush, white dudes, white cisgendered American males go and kill a million brown Muslims in Iraq. Am I going to feel shame because I'm white, cisgendered, and male? Remember, I'm not fucking white, cisgendered, male as of today, New Year's 2017, but just saying, hypothetically, no. And then take it one step up, and this is where your mind is just going to disintegrate with illumination. Why would I even feel shame or pride about being a human? I can feel pride over all these great human accomplishments throughout history, but I also can feel shame about it. There's a lot to feel shame about. I guess there's a lot to feel pride about. But here's the thing. When you go deeper, when you go into your essence, Things like pride and shame are really fucking superficial. Why? Because they're attempts, they're compensations to actually procure a sense of well-being and wholeness from outside of you. When in reality, deep inside you, you just love. That's why it's all superficial. You just are love. So it doesn't make any sense to actually feel pride or shame based on your race or even based on being a human. That stuff is kids' play. Go deeper. Go deeper. And realize that you are love. Don't hate yourself for being white. Don't hate yourself for being black. Don't hate yourself for being fucking cisgendered. <laughs> Don't hate yourself for being a male or a female or transgender. Don't hate yourself. Realize that you are love deep in your core that you are love and then you'll start to see all the bullshit that's not love 
right? All the bullshit that comes from a place of fear, comes from a place of domination and control, and does not have your best interests at heart. It doesn't. All that fucking bacon just gonna clog up your heart. Fucking put down the bacon. And pick up the love. Have a great 2017, baby.